Uh, here we are in another class with the ninth grade C on the afternoon class from Wednesday, Wednesday, the 10th of August. Wednesday, 10th of August. Time flies. And this class number three is called How Long? So today we're gonna be today we're gonna be dealing with duration of time, okay? Time durations of actions. And we are going to revisit an old friend a friend from the last two units from the first semester. Uh, we're gonna use it again. And then also we're gonna play some games, etc. Okay, that's the plan of today. So first of all, I wanna ask you, how are you guys feeling? So Miguel, on a scale of Steve Rogers, how are you feeling today? On a Steve Rogers scale, how are you feeling today, Miguel? Six. Six. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. What about you, Leonor? ¿Cuál es la del sueño? <laughs> ¿Cuál es la del tuto? A ver. Eh, <laughs> Leonor, la del tuto, yo creo que es como luchando contra el sueño. A ver. El cinco. Se quedó con sueño, pero feliz. Sí, yeah, number, number five. Yes, in the afternoon, a lot of, yeah, it's really, really sleepy, right? Sí, por, por ley debiese ser, um, las clases debiesen empezar más tarde, ¿o no? O sin clase en la tarde. No, mentira. No, no, ahí no se resultaría. Tendría que ser como... Um, a mi opinión, profe, yo preferiría clase en la tarde y en la mañana nada. Pero saldría y retarda, Luciana. Saldrían como a, la, como a las 7 de la tarde. ¿Prefieres eso? Sí. Así tengo el tiempo de dormir un rato más, profe. Chuta, bueno, para la pestaña parece mi amigo. <risa> Ah, that's it, Leonor. Yeah, yeah, lunch and classes, and they're not good friends. Uh, what about you, <laughs> Sofita? Sofita says five. You're feeling five? Yeah, me too, five. Francis says five. What about you, Luciano Cayoja? What about you, Master Cayoja? How are you feeling today? Luciano Cayoja? Don't know. Any? No. I have any idea I think I feel like number eight it's like happy but like fighting number one and number six like uh, all tense ah people <laughs> all right let's continue so today's class we're going to be talking about some stuff okay some stuff uh, they are focused on things okay on actions, duration of events. But before we go to that area, we're gonna do some listening, okay? And to do that, I'm gonna go to the book. I'm gonna go to the book. I'm gonna go to the book. Here I am. Uh, on the previous class, we did something with the, with the school subjects. So we're gonna just refresh some of that. Uh, may you help me matching like, one and picture one, two, three, four, five, six. Help me. Which of them is can I start with science in general? Science. Donde hay un microscopio. Now in English. Um, okay. Okay, Luciana. There is a microscope. Yeah, picture six. A microscope. Microscope. Good. Uh, what about music? What can you see in the picture? What really? A violin, yes, a violin, perfect. Arts. Picture number? Arts. Picture number? Sorry, what? Picture. Yeah, good vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to write that, that down. So 
uh, you can see on picture number two, you can see some br brushes, right? Brushes and a canvas, okay? Uh, brushes, you can see here painting brushes and you use them to paint on the canvas. Okay, we can see and drama. Mask. So a mask, yes, a mask. They called it the like the tragedy mask, I think. The tragedy mask or the mask of something. Yeah, uh, design and technology. What can you see with the design and technology? You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Okay, these are some protection. No sé qué es eso. Okay, don't worry. I think it might be like a, this is like a tool. Si no sabemos el nombre, this is a tool. A tool. A tool. Una herramienta. Okay, a tool. Uh, we don't know that. I don't know the name. And also there are some protective uh, or security, uh, no, safety glasses. Safety glasses, I think. Safety glasses or protective glasses. Protective and glasses. And also the other thing is a tool. Una herramienta. I don't know the name. Very specific. All right, ready. Easy, busy. And then geography. Geography. Ge -ge geography. What picture is that? What picture well. is geography? It's a globe. Yeah, it's a globe. Thanks. That's good. Let's use English. That's the idea. So it's a globe. Yeah, they are beautiful, but they are expensive. A globe. Hmm? Easy be easy. So last class we were checking on the school subjects. Uh, today we're going to move a bit from that and we're going to be spending time on other things. Uh, on outdoor activities, outdoors activities. Okay, so we are going to mention here, we're going to be talking about what are these people doing. Now here we have things. So before I go to the vocabulary itself, I want you guys to tell me uh, what's going on in the picture. What's going on here? Can you tell me? What can you see in this picture? There is a... Um... What's, what's going on here? There is a what? There is a... There is, there is uh, anything, any, anything? What can you see? It's very evident. Okay, there is a camp. Okay, I agree. There is a camp. And also there is what? There's a camping, there is a tent. Very good. There is a tent and what? what's inside the tent? What can you see inside the tent? can you see inside yeah very nice so there's a girl about to sleep we don't know maybe she is eating or i don't know she's reading i don't know if there's a girl about to sleep inside a tent in a camp perfecto beautiful 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 i like this one all right let's continue with the other one uh, the picture on the right, what can you see? Uh, there is what? There is, there is a, okay, we have fire, we have wood, perfect. Uh, and what else? What else can you see? Mm. Ah, damn it. What else can you see here? Burning, okay, burning fire. Yeah, perfect, perfect. But now tell me, like the main thing you see. Uh, it, is this a boy, a girl, a woman, uh, an old man? What is it? 
you have the perfect vocabulary word. There's a person, right? And we don't know what kind of person it is, but there is a person making fire, a burning fire. Mm -hmm. Or this person is making a campfire. Mm -hmm. For camping, of course. Yeah, what about a picture on the right? Uh, Daniel Gonzalez, help. Here the girls are very nice. They are help me, helping me a lot. Daniel Gonzalez. Uh, picture? Yeah, the picture, the picture three on the right. Uh, well, I see a young man in a car, probably driving, and the background, uh, it is too bright to comprehend some. In a car, probably, or, or likely, or most likely driving. And what did you say at the end? Um, the background is too bright to make up what it is. Yes, that's true. The background is too blurred to make up. Mm. Uh, does he does it look uh, content? Does it look worried? Does it look? How does it look? Yes, he looks happy. Uh -huh. There is a happy young man mm -hmm. uh, in a car, most likely driving. Yeah, yeah, perfect, Daniel. That was good. All right, let's carry on. Okay, we have another person here down, down below. Uh, we, what you can see. What else can you see down there? People, let's go shout, Miguel, Miguel, help. Okay, what do you see on the picture below? Hello. Okay, Miguel, let's use you. Yeah, Miguel, this is your turn now. What do you see in the picture below? Uh, this one, uh, let me point this up. This picture, Miguel, what can you see there? Here is yeah, where where forest in a forest. Okay, perfect. Nice. We can see a girl, a girl in here with her eyes, uh, with her eyes covered in a forest. Thank you, Sophia and Miguel. You did very grand. That's perfect though. Yeah. We see a girl well, with his eyes covered in a forest. Good. Perfect though. Uh, let's do with another one. Uh, Mr. Cayoja. Luciano. Luciano Cayoja, are you there, master? Luciano Cayoja. Luciano Cayoja. Ah, yes, Luciano. Luciano, can you describe the picture on the right now? This is the last picture. What can you see? Mr. Luciano, hopefully with the microphone, please. Hopefully with the microphone. Okay, tell us what you can see. Okay, I can see. Okay, so there, and instead of there is, there are, because there are two, there are two kids on a tree, because they are on, on top of a tree. I agree. They can be in, because you can, well, actually, you can get in a tree, but you have to cut the tree and make it like a, yeah, they are on the tree. They're on the tree. So they're on the top of a tree. Yeah, agree, agree, agree. They look like brothers, probably. They look like siblings, um, I think. Perfect. Uh, you might think, okay, finish, we finish activity. Okay, let's match this up. Uh, okay, Pr first picture, vocabulary word. Vocabulary word, first picture. The girl in a tent. 
vocabulary word, people, people. Yeah. The, the first picture, people. What vocabulary word corresponds to? Make a fire, spend night outdoors, climbing a tree, driving a car. Spend night outdoor? Yeah, spend the night outdoors. Ha uh, have you ever spent the night outdoors? Have you ever spent the night outdoors? Make a fire? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the next one. The next one is make a fire. And we were asking about your experiences, but we can do that later. Okay, make a fire. And then we have next picture. You can see this guy. Drive a car. He's driving a car. Then we have this one. What about this one? Picture with a girl in the forest. Spend an hour blindfolded. Spend an hour blindfolded. So that's the word we need. It's very specific vocabulary word. Blindfolded. Bend out. Blindfolded. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of blind? What's the meaning of blind? Ciego or yes. yes, ciego. That's it. That's it. Ciego, right? So can't see. It's a person that can't see. That is uh, blindfolded. Uh, blind in this case. Okay. So that's good. Perfect. Though. All right. Let's continue. It's easy peasy. Climb a tree and then blindfold her. Uh, hey, people, I have a question. Have you ever, like when you were a kid, did you ever have the chance of um, being in a, in a tree house? Did you ever have the chance to be in a tree house? In a tree house? Like maybe a neighbor or a friend of yours, they had a, a tree house? No? Oh, so yes, no. Did you ever have the chance of being on a, on a tree house? Yeah, it was very tiny, but. Ah, so Frita had the same. Has a, the, so what does it mean? Canvas? A canvas. Canvas is the. Oh, wait, wait. It's the. Wait, I'm looking for the word perfect. Uh, the canvas Como is, lienzo para pintar. Lienzo, lienzo para pintar, lienzo. Thank you, lady. El lienzo. Verdad que hay una serie para like canvas. El lienzo para pintar. You need a canvas. And, and also you need uh, brushes to paint. Y aquí Siena. It was very tiny. Yeah, a tree house. I, might, I remember when I was very young, I wanted to have... Uh, a tree house it was beautiful. That's a good dream when you're a kid to have a tree house. Okay, let's continue. And have you ever have you ever been camping? Have you ever gone camping? Like for for two nights or one night or three nights? Ah, oh, Luciano, yes. My goodness, nice. Camp camping is nice. Three days. Wow. In my respects. <laughs> Three days is a lot of time. Camping three days, wow. Two days, I think that's a lot of time. Camping where, to the valley? Or where have you, where have you been camping? Oh, maximum with my family for a weekend, yeah. Like maybe very similar to you, like two days or three days. Mm. Beautiful. You know what? Uh, one of my memories is when we went camping. I like the. I don't know if you if you feel the same, but in my case, when I tried the, I love, I love the the smell and the taste of rice when you go camping. Of rice. Do you feel the same? For me, the, the taste of rice when you go camping is different from the taste of the rice at home. Do you feel the same or not? Or just my imagination? Mm. 
Well, I don't know if you eat rice when you go camping. But for me, it's really different. It's, I don't know. It's something very special. Hmm, strange. It's a strange thing, honestly. All right. Uh, let's carry on. Okay, let's continue. Let me raise this up. And we're going to be listening to these activities. Okay, so which of these activities do they talk about? So we're going to... We're gonna tick. We're gonna tick about. We're gonna tick the activities they are talking about. That's the plan. Let me get everything ready. Check on the volume, please. Don't have it too loud, or your ears will burst. Oh, va debería ser los Camping and marshmallows with hot chocolate, and and horror stories. Yeah. And telling and, and telling horror stories um, around the bonfire. Yeah. Well, you have two words for that. Uh, you can have a campfire or a bonfire. Uh, so let me. Yeah. A bonfire, or campfire. Yeah. Hot chocolate, marshmallows, horror stories around a bonfire. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In the Elki Valley. Yeah. Amazing. I think that's a good weekend. And uh, I don't know, ha has anyone in this class been in the scouts? Has anyone here been a scout or is a scout? Is anyone here a scout? A jamboree scout? No? A Lucas, a Lucas, Luca Mesa. Ah, oh, look, I miss I was a scout. Oh, okay. Would you would you like to be a scout? Would you like to be a scout, people? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I think when you are a young kid, I think it must be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I feel the same, Sophia. When you were a kid. Probably, yeah, of course, because you have a lot of time and you meet people, you make good friends. But as a teenager, I think it's a bit more difficult because you you want to go out, you want to do other things. So it's not the best time, to be honest, to be honest. I think when you are young and when you're little, that's perfect to go camping. All right, let's listen. Here we go. Hi, David. Oh, hi, John. I'm going to the pool. Want to come along? I can't. My dad has asked me to do some things with Nick. Your little brother? Oh, you're babysitting. Too bad. No, I'm not actually babysitting. My dad's going to be with us too. So, what are you doing? Well, it's a long story. It all started with a book my dad read recently. It's called 50 Dangerous Things You Should Let Your Children Do. What? Seriously? Yeah. And? And the book's cool, really. Parents are normally, don't do this and don't do that, right? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, this book says that parents should let children do things that most parents yeah. don't let them do. Wow, okay. Let children do things like what? Yeah, what happened? Benjamin, was that you? Yeah, I think it was you, Benjamin. What happened? Do you need anything? Benjamin, oh, Benjamin. Benjamin? Nothing, is it? Okay. Let's continue. So, for example, parents should let children make a fire. Really? Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> well, of course, kids shouldn't be alone when they make a fire. Parents should be with them so they learn that fire can be dangerous. And of course, they must not make a fire in a place where it's forbidden. Uh-huh. What else? Kids should spend an hour blindfolded. Really? Young children? That's dangerous. That's right. That's why they couldn't do that on their own. Their parents need to make sure that nothing happens to them. Okay. But why? The child learns something new. It's a new experience, and it's interesting for the child too. 
They learn to be cautious. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> oh, something else. What's that? Parents should let their children drive a car. Really? In the street? No, no. In an empty space where there are no other cars, obviously. Wow. Yeah. But I'm not sure Dad will try this one with Nick. He thinks he'll probably drive straight into a tree, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need to go now. I need to get some sausages. Sausages? Yes. Dad and I are going to show Nick how to make a fire. And then we want to grill some sausages. Really? Wow. I'd love to come along. Why don't you? Would that be okay with your dad? Of course. He'd be happy if you could join us. And Nick... What about him? Well, he'll be proud to show you he can make a fire. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a good conversation. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, tell me which activities they mention. Make a fire, yes or no? Do they mention that? People? Uh, yes, they mentioned that. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to put the chat here because. Okay, uh, spend the night outdoors. Do they mention that? Mm, yeah, me neither. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Uh, climb a tree. Do they mention that? Climb a tree? Uh, nope. And to drive a car. Yes, they mentioned that. Absolutely, yes. That's true. And spend an hour blindfolded. Yes, they say it's good. They say it's good for the kid. But I don't know in what sense it's good. It says it, it will learn new things. I don't know. Maybe it's like, um, I think it, it must be something like uh, when you when you are empathetic to other people, it's because you understand the reality. So maybe you want to put on the on the on the shoes of a blind person. Of a blind person, yeah. Yeah, that might be an option. Okay, let's do this. So making a campfire. And they're gonna make a campfire. They're gonna make fire, that's the thing. They're gonna make fire. Uh, and they're gonna do something with his brother, I think. Okay, there was a there was an expression here that I liked that I like very much. It says here, um, one of the friends says, can I come along? Uh, can I come along? I think that's the name of the thing. Can I come along? Here. Can I come? Can I come along? What is that? If you say, for example, hey, um, hey what are you doing this weekend? Ah, I'm going to the cinema. It's going to be very fun. Uh, and what movie are you watching? Ah, the Suicide Squad. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, can I come along? So, yes, of course, you're invited. What does that question mean? Can I come along? Can I come along? Um, if we're solo, ah, Sophia, uh, Leonor. Uh, can I come along means uh, puedo ir. Como puedo, me puedo unir a ti. Can I come along? Come along is como ven, venir. Sumar, sumarte al plan de esta persona. Come along. So can I come along? Yes. All right, let's continue. Easy peasy, this one. Only uh, three were mentioned. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's continue. So next one says uh, true or false. So we're going to listen to it again, and then we're going to do true or false. Uh, we have the following. David is babysitting his little brother. Uh, did you hear something about that? David is babysitting? Yes? No? Maybe? Yep? No? Yes? I think the chat. Did you hear about something about babysitting? Seniñero, yes. Babysit is me... I have to babysit my little sister. I have to babysit my little brother. Yes, okay. You say it's true. Then we're going to check. Uh, David thinks that the book his father uh, 
Red is nonsense. David thinks that the book his father read is nonsense. When something is nonsense, it means that it's very stupid. Okay, very stupid, nonsense. If you if someone is, let's say that someone tells you, okay, Leonor, um, did you know that? Um, did you know that before dinosaurs, the dragons existed in the uh, on the earth? And obviously, you say, "What are you saying? Nonsense! Nonsense! There were dinosaurs, not dragons." Okay, nonsense. Stupid things. Okay. Uh, 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 David is not sure his dad will let Nick drive the car. Do you remember this one? Nope. Okay. What about? Ah, yeah, yeah. Claro, entonces false, porque lo parece que le iba a ayudar a manejar, pero en un lugar vacío. Nick drove the car straight into a tree. Okay, I think you said David thinks Nick will employ showing that he can make a fire. David thinks that Nick will enjoy sharing, showing that he can make a fire. I think it's true, yeah. Okay, we're going to listen to it again. Here we go. Hi, David. Oh, hi, John. I'm going to the pool. Want to come along? I can't. My dad has asked me to do some things with Nick. Your little brother. Oh, you're babysitting. Too bad. No, I'm not actually babysitting. My dad's going to be with us too. So, what are you doing? Well, it's a long story. Babysitting? True. Babysitting is true. Okay. Let's continue. It all started with a book my dad read recently. It's called 50 Dangerous Things You Should Let Your Children Do. What? Seriously? Yeah. And? And the book's cool, really. Pe okay, it says the book's cool, really. So this is true or false. Number two, it's true or false? False. Um, it's false, yeah. It's not a nonsense. If you're reading a book and it's a nonsense, you stop reading because it's like, what's this? This is nonsense. It's really stupid. But no, the book is not that. Parents are normally, don't do this and don't do that, right? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, this book says that parents should let children do things that most parents don't let them do. Wow, okay. Let children do things like what? So, for example, parents should let children make a fire. Really? Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> well, of course, kids shouldn't be alone when they make a fire. Parents should be with them, so they learn that fire can be dangerous. And of course, they must not make a fire in a place where it's forbidden. Uh-huh. What else? Kids should spend an hour blindfolded. Really? Young children? That's dangerous. That's right. That's why they couldn't do that on their own. Their parents need to make sure that nothing happens to them. Okay. But why? The child learns something new. It's a new experience. And it's interesting for the child, too. They learn to be cautious. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, what about number three? Is it true or false? The book says that children should spend an hour blindfolded alone. Alone. True or false? 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 Hmm. I think it's not alone, right? It's with the parents. David is not sure his dad will let Nick drive the car. Let's see. Something else. What's that? Parents should let their children drive a car. Really? In the street? No, no. In an empty space where there are no other cars, obviously. Wow. Yeah. But I'm not sure Dad will try this one with Nick. He thinks he'll probably... Okay, so 
Dave is not sure that he will try that his dad will let Nick drive a car. So true or false? He's not sure that his dad will let him drive a car. I think it's pretty much true. He said, I don't know. He drives straight into a tree, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need to go now. I need to get some sausages. Sausages? Yes. Dad and I are going to show Nick how to make a fire. And then we want to grill some sausages. Really? Wow. I'd love to come along. Why don't you? Would that be okay with your dad? Of course. He'd be happy if you could join us. And Nick... What about him? Well, he'll be proud to show you he can make a fire. Of course. <laughs> All right. Oh, God damn it. David is babysitting his little brother, is it? Hi, David. Oh, hi, John. I'm going to the pool. Want to come along? I can't. My dad has asked me to do some things with Nick. Your little brother? Oh, you're babysitting. Too bad. No, I'm not actually babysitting. My dad's going to be with us too. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. God damn it, yeah, it's false. It's not babysitting because he's with his dad. But yeah, I agree, agree, agree. Thanks, Sofita. That's that's correct. Yeah. It's not babysitting. Have you ever babysit someone? Obviously someone in your family, of course. Have you ever babysit someone? Have you ever babysit someone? Have you have you ever babysitted someone? Oh, you guys are simple. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is it boring or is it okay? I think I have babysit. I babysit it before. Uh, I have to think about it. I don't really remember like getting money out of it. No, not really. But I don't know. Casi siempre. Uh, do they pay you money when you babysit? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Difficult. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions. We're going to go to another direction then. We just uh, did some listening, and what we're going to do now is a bit uh, talking. So I'm going to be using the chat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using the chat. Yes, I'm going to be using the chat. I'm going to be writing here. Okay, I have some questions about how long. If you say, if you see here, you can see that how long is repeated. How long, how long, how long, and how long. How long is a question about duration. It's about duration of an event. So I want to see your, your answers. So can you tell me, um, Luciano Cayoja, how long have you lived in La Serena? How long have you lived in La Serena? Uh, eight years. Okay. So, Luciano, for eight years. Okay. Uh, let me ask a different person now. Thank you, Master. Catalina Vidal, how long have you lived in La Serena? That means, Luciano, that you lived in another place before. Uh -huh. Which 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 place was that? Ah, Kiki. Ah, oh. go, 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 go. Catalina Vidal, what about you? Catalina Vidal. Tell me, um, how long have you lived in La Serena? Kiki. I think it's a cool city. They say it's a good it's a good city. Catalina Vidal, I were born there, so you are. Iquequeño, how do they call people from Iquique? Iquequense, Iquiqueño, Iquiqueño, right? I think. Iquiqueño. Uh, okay, Catalina, I lived in Coquimbo, but around 13 years ago. Ah, okay, how long is it? 13 years. Okay, see, so you have lived in Coquimbo for around 13 years. Okay, that's all your life, right? Is that all your life? 
So you have lived here your complete life? Yes. Uh, ah, Luciano. Uh, Kata, have you lived in Coquimbo or La Serena your, your complete life? No. Ah. So you were born in a different place? Tell us. Where? Where were you? Where were you born? In Santiago. Ah. Ah. So the correct way to say is that I was born. So here is a Catalina is for 13 years. Uh, I was born. I was born. That's the idea. Uh, let me ask another person then. Uh, tu, 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 tu. Leon. No, Leonor, I already asked. Uh, Sofita, how long have you lived in La Serena? Thank you, Cata. How long have you lived in La Serena, Sofita? How long have you lived in La Serena? 40 years. Mm. Oh, goodness. Where did you live before this one? Okay, so we got four, four years. Four years. Where, where did you live before? Oh, Rancagua. Wow, you're the first person I know that is from Rancagua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. You're from Rancagua. Is it beautiful? I, I've visited Rancagua, to be honest. I went to Rancagua. When was it this? What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? What was this? Uh, 2014, I think I went to Rancagua. 2014. It was really quiet, really chill, a bit cold. Six hours. <laughs> Machali and Rancagua. Machali is uh, very close to Rancagua. Is it very close? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Eight years here and I don't win anything. <laughs> Luciano Cayoja, I feel the same, Luciano. My goodness, I'm really such a bad luck for so many years. I buy all the tickets in a bingo and never win anything. But I know that someday, someday, I'm going to get the, 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 the full price, like something really, really big, like a house or a car or something really big. Maybe you, Luciano, you too. Who knows? You get something really, really massive. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. So, oh, you were from another place. What about Javira Tapia? What about you, Javira? Uh, how long have you lived in La Serena? Or Coquimbo? Same thing. What, what? How long have you lived in in Coquimbo or La Serena? How long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Eh, ¿Se refiere a cuánto tiempo he vivido en La Serena? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Eh, toda mi vida. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. so you, you were born in La Serena then? Yes. Ah, we have a serenity here. Perfect. Nice, 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 Javira. Perfect. So Javira was born here. She has lived here uh, for... How old are you, Javira? How old are you, Javira? 14? What, what? How old are you? Un poquito. How old are you? 15? No, 14? 15. 15? Are oh, you 15? God damn it. Okay, Javiera. So Javiera has lived in La Serena since she was born or uh, for 15 years. Good, 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 good. What about you, Daniel? What about you, dude? How long have you lived in La Serena in this place? Thank you, Javiera. Daniel? Um... How long? Uh, I, I don't really remember. I don't really remember, but wait, were you born in this region? Mm, no. No? Where were you born? Santiago, Valparaíso, Alcapacaste, Quique? I think Santiago. 
because I and uh, oh my, <laughs> I know. Um, you were born in Santiago. Wow. Okay, it's not far away. Yeah, I see. Uh, you think it's Santiago? Well, you need to ask your parents because you really want to know your place of birth. It's very important to know. Good, good one, good one. Okay, let's ask another question about how long. Okay. Uh, next question is, um, how long have you been at Geronimo Rendic eh, Franco Moriani? How long have you been at Geronimo Rendic? How long? How long have you been in the school? How long? How long have you been in school? Franco Moriani. Buenísimo Franco Moriani. How long? No answer. Okay, and let's ask another person then. Uh, Felix Campos, how long have you been at school? Ten years. Ten years. Okay, so ten years. Let me see. So you you began Jerónimo Morandi when you were in kindergarten. Yeah. Oh. And do you remember what year? Do you remember the year? Uh, twenty twelve. Twelve. Twenty twelve. So you have been in Jerónimo Morandi since twenty twelve, and that is. Uh, for 10 years. My goodness, that's a lot of time, dude. That's a lot of time. It's, it's like your second home. Like, absolutely second home. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at my agenda and it wasn't Topagasa, but I was in... Oh, Topagasa. A bit far away, but nice place. Good, man. Nice one, nice one. And what about you, Luciana Valencia? How long have you been in Jerónimo Rendich. Jerónimo Rendich. How long have you been in Jerónimo Rendich? Luciano Valencia, how long have you been in Jerónimo Rendich? Luciano Valencia is out. Okay. I'm going to ask a different person there. Um, uh, Ignacio Vivado, what about you? How long have you, have you been in Kinonimo Randage? 10 years, that's a long time. Let's think about it. Ignacio Vivado? Four years. Four years, okay. So you were, okay, where were you? Más o menos, según yo. <laughs> Oh, Ignacia, okay, more or less. So where were you before Jerónimo Rendic then? Where, where were you? Como desde quinto básico estoy. Oh, okay, so can you remember the year maybe? 2017. Okay, so you have been in Jerónimo Rendic since 2017. 2017, yeah, yeah, 2017. Wow, so you quite new. Not new completely, but but quite new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I have another question. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask you about a hobby. Let me see. Um, uh, Sophia, do you have any hobbies? Like anything that you like to do? Uh, Sophia, yes, uh, painting. Okay, painting. Okay. How long have you been painting and drawing? All my life, <laughs> nah, come on, <laughs> you can say all my life. So you were born as a baby and you were painting. Like, I've been painting all my life. I mean, obviously, uh, if you say that, exist. I mean, exist, you can say that, but it's an exaggeration because it's not true. Ah, since I was three, okay. Since you were three, you were painting. Wow, that's a long time. That's a long time. Because I suppose, Sofia, that you are now 15. You are 15 now, right? Sofia, or 14? Oh, you're 14. Okay, so that's a long time. That is a long time. 11 years ago. Wow, amazing. 
What about you, Luciano Cayoja? Uh, do you have any hobbies? Anything? Thank you, Sofita. Do you have any hobbies? Something that you like doing? Yes. Okay, tell me. Tell me about the, the, the one that you do a lot. Or the, the one that you practice a lot, for example. Which is music, maybe, or something else. Tell me. Which one? You play the guitar. Perfect. So how long have you played guitar? How long have you played the, the guitar? Think about that. Think about that. For example, I play the guitar. I've, I have played the guitar. Present perfect. I've played the guitar since, since 2007. 2007. 2007. 14 years. I've been playing the guitar for 14. 14 years. My goodness. <gasps> My goodness. Wow. Dude. Wow. No. Can't be. You've been playing five years. Dude, continue playing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It gets it gets amazing every every time. To continue playing. For, so you've been playing guitar for five years. Mm, that means since 2006. 2016 since 2016 I, I i guess that's the thing 2016 mm -hmm. okay uh let me ask another person that um uh miguel gonzalez miguel 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 on miguelo miguel hello miguel hello 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 miguel miguel do you have any hobbies anything that you like to do in your free time any activity, any kind of activity you like doing in your free time? Sorry, teacher, but I'm not in the mood. Do you have any hobbies? Any hobbies? A hobby? For example, Luciano, he plays the guitar. Uh, I think in... Ah, uh, my hobby. Yeah, your hobby. Sofia said that she paints. She paints and draws. Painting and drawing. What about your hobby? Uh, no sé, play video games. Yeah, playing video games is a very good hobby. So uh, tell me, uh, Miguel, how long have you been playing uh, video games? How long have you been playing video games? How long, okay, okay. How, how long have you been playing video games? How many years, for example? How long? Uh, no sé cómo decirlo, desde que era pequeño jugaba juego, okay. no tan pequeño, pero no sé, no tan juego en teléfono. Okay, so you can say, listen to me in English, since I was seven. Can you say it in English, Miguel? Since I was seven. Since? 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 I was seven. I was seven. Yeah, since I was seven. So that means... Uh, how old are you, Miguel? 14 or 15? How old are 14. you? 14. Okay, so you've been playing uh, since I was seven, 14. You've been playing, you have been playing for seven years video games. Wow, amazing, man. Amazing. Since you were seven, um, I've been playing video games. Wow, for a long time, dude. Can't even remember. Uh, I think I played when I was nine. I've been playing game, video games for 23 years. <sighs> wow, you play chess. Wow, how long have you played chess? How long have you, be, have you played chess, Luciano? Thank you, Miguel. Very nice. How long have you played chess, Master? For three years. Perfect, dude. Okay, so the idea of the class today... Is the following thing i asked you about how long so when we are talking about duration of time we use two different things okay you remember the present perfect the present perfect is from the previous unit and the previous one and today we are using it again but we are adding two more things in the unit before the vacations we used just already yet those were our friends um uh, with the present perfect. And now we have two more friends, for and since. 
So when we are talking about the duration of an activity, we can use for or we can use since. The difference is super simple. When we use for, we are talking about the total duration of the event. So for example, Luciano, Luciano, he told me that he's, he's played chess for three years, okay? And he's played guitar for five years, okay? So that's the complete duration of the event. Uh, on the contrary, or on the other hand, the opposite is since, like Miguel mentioned. So for example, Miguel, he said that he's played, that he's played uh, video games since he was a child or since he was seven uh, or since he was little. In this case, we can say that Luciano, he's played chess since 2018 and he's playing the guitar or he's played the guitar since, let me see, uh, the exact year, five years ago, 2016. So since doesn't focus on the total duration, since focuses on the starting point of the event or the action. Example, she's lived here since 1999. She's been, uh, he's been here at the doctor since 9 a.m. I played the guitar since I was 17. They've been dancing since the beginning of the party. So for and since they explain duration for the total duration of the event, since the beginning of the duration. So we're gonna take Miguel as an example. This is Miguel's life. <laughs> Sorry for the pause. This is now. 2001, sorry, 2021. Miguel said that he's playing video games since he was seven. Okay, so seven years ago, uh, it was 2014. Okay, so if we're gonna use four, we say, Miguel played video games for seven years. For seven years is the total duration, okay, the complete duration of the event until now, of course. And since is different. Since is here. Since is here. Uh, Miguel's played video games since 2014, or since he was seven years old, which is this one this year. 2014. Since and for are different. Okay. Any questions about this, people? 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 Hello? Hello? Hello, people. Hello. Mm. Anyone here? Ah, sorry, I wasn't. Oh. Yes, over there. Oh my goodness. Estaba mostrando lo otra otra cosa. Estaba mostrando lo que estamos hablando. So here, for example, we have for and we have since. Both explain duration of events, the length, the longitude of a time event, okay? For is used to talk about for the total duration of the event. For example, I played the guitar for 10 years. Okay, so now it's 2021. I oh, sorry, 2021 and 10 years ago, uh, uh, to here is 10 years. So it, that is the total duration, 10 years. I played the guitar for 10 years. I've been here for two hours. So I began around 2.25 and she's waited for a long time. So it focuses on the duration, the complete duration of the event. 
And since is a bit different. Since we use it to refer to the starting point of the event. So for example, right now is 2021. And it says here, she's lived here since 1999. Since is talking about when the event began. So the event began in 1989. So this is since. She's been living here since 1989. And if I have to use four, uh, I'll calculate the total duration of the year. So that would be 10, uh, 12 years. Okay, 12 years. Four, 12 years. That is four. But since is the beginning of the event. The beginning is the 1989. Doctor's been here since 9 a.m. Or I played the guitar since I was 17. Or in, this is here at the beginning of the party. So they explain different things, uh, Sophia and Leonor. I think, Sophia, you meant, yeah, you asked me. Since refers to the starting point of the event. And four refers to the total duration of the event. Okay, Luciano said that he's played the guitar for five years. Okay, for five years. Five years in the past until now for five years, the total duration. And we can say also that he's played the guitar since 2016, the beginning of the event, 2016. Okay, people, let me quickly go here. And we are finished, wait. Okay, wait. I'm here on the page uh, 22. Okay. For example, here, what would you put in the following things with for and since? For a month, since last summer. Remember, Four is the total duration since it's a very specific point in time. If you say 2014, is it for 2014 or since 2014? What do you say here? Like he, he's played, he's been painting 2014. Since or for? Ah, the chat, sorry. Since, yeah, since 2014. Okay, uh, a year, a year. We've been playing volleyball a year. Since a year or for a year? Since or for? Since or for? Since or for? What do you think? Since or for? Same, people say since. Actually, is for for a year. Uh, we don't know the specific thing, right? We don't know if it is, uh, uh, for example, uh, since uh, 2020. I always see of uh, since, but for a year, por un año completo, no sabemos. Okay, for a year. So let's go another one. Many years. For many years or since many years? What do you say? What do, 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 what do you say? Since or for? For, for many years, yeah. For example, they have been together for many years. Han estado juntos por muchos años. Nos concentramos en la duración total, por muchos años, y no desde cuando empezó, por eso no es since. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. Since yesterday or for yesterday? She has been studying yesterday. Since, yeah, since yesterday, desde ayer. Since yesterday, desde ayer, no, por, por ayer, no. Yeah, um, I found you. This is very specific, right? Very specific, I found you. I finished my, I, I've, I've been, I've been listening to music, I found you. Since, yeah, since I found you. Desde que te llamé, since I found you. Desde ahí empezó el evento. And uh, a long time. Uh, he's been working a long time. 
since a long time or for a long time? For a long time. For, for a long time. No sabemos cuándo empezó, sabemos la duración. Um, an hour. They have been working for an hour or they have been working since an hour? For an hour, también sabemos la, la, la duración total. And days. Uh, they it has been raining for days or has been raining since days. Since of four. Since of four. No sé si estos mensajes que están ahí solo de ahora, solo de recién. Ah, yeah, four days. Ah, thank you. Yeah, four days. Um, si hubiese dicho, por ejemplo, um, si hubiese dicho uh, Monday o Tuesday o cualquier día, hubiese sido since, porque ahí sabemos específicamente cuándo empezó. ¿ya? Entonces ahí sería distinta la cosa. ¿ya? Sería, sería since. ¿ya? En este caso eh, dice days nomás, no sabemos cuándo empezó específicamente. ¿ya? Eh, Friday. Um, they have been playing uh, chess. For Friday or since Friday? Since Friday, yes. Ahí sabemos cuando empezó. And since your birthday. Yeah, since your birthday. Okay, any questions about this, people? Okay. Good evening. Thanks, 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 thanks for the participation. Yeah, lo voy a dejar ahora. Y les voy a subir la tarea para el... El jueves la subo porque la van a estar haciendo los otros, los otros chicos en el colegio. Así que a ustedes les va a quedar para va a salir este jueves y le, una semana más, hasta el martes. ¿ya? Okidoki. Okidoki. Right, people. Sí, sí.